focus. And the way we did it was to liberate women, and again, these are mostly white privileged women, but not exclusively, to be our fathers. Right? And when I grew up, the message was really clear. My mother was a homemaker, my father was a lawyer. If you wanted to be a liberated woman, you became your father. That's what it was about, right? I mean, that, and that was the measure of your worth as a feminist as a woman who was fighting for other women. And that made sense because my father and all the fathers like him held the power in society. So I'm not saying it wasn't a good idea to do that. That's if I, didn't, if I couldn't become a lawyer or a doctor or a banker or a politician, maybe even a president, we weren't gonna change the power structures of the society. And we still got a long way to go there. And we know that we're still in, we're 15% of leaders in a good industry, 20 at most, 5% in a bad industry, like finance or lots of the sciences. So we still have a long way to go on the project of liberating women to hold the positions that men once held and still do hold. But along the way, we, fought, we valued women only to the extent they could become men. And we devalued women's work, traditional women's work. My mother's work, didn't want to do that, right? No way, you didn't want to be a homemaker. To be a homemaker was to be an unliberated woman. And then we had the mommy wars and all sorts of things too, we won't go into. But the overall, I mean, I was raised to think that being competitive and winning and being, you know, succeeding and making an income, that was the measure of worth. Being a caring person, Investing in others, taking care of children, taking care of parents, taking care of siblings and spouses and friends, that work was much less important than the work of competition. That caregiving was much less important than breadwinning. And note that winning is built right into the way we think of earning a living. Right? We call it breadwinning and caregiving. That has to change because in fact, society only works when you both earn an income and allow people to pursue their passions and their goals and uh, compete and competition's a great thing, right? It drives all sorts of, of great outcomes. 